Hi there. Welcome to Great Hills Children's Devotionals. Today's message is based on Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. Copyright by God, all rights reserved. Have you ever carved a pumpkin or watched someone else carve a pumpkin? The first thing you need to do is cut an opening on the top or the bottom of the pumpkin so you can scoop out all the squishy stuff that's inside. But did you know, but do you know what that squishy stuff is? It's called pulp and pumpkin seeds. And did you know, you can grow more pumpkins with those seeds? The first thing you have to do is to dry all the seeds. And when they're dry inside and out, you make a mound of dirt, put a few seeds in the mound, about two inches down, cover the seed with more dirt. You got to make sure not to let it get too dry it out. And before you know it, you'll see a little green shoot pushing its way up through the soil, and then it will spread out into a vine. Soon, you'll see little flowers, and those flowers will turn into little green pumpkins, and they'll keep growing and growing and growing, and in no time, they'll turn orange and you'll have more pumpkins with more seeds to grow more pumpkins. How amazing is that? God makes such good plans. Did you also know that God plants a seed in your heart? And when the seed grows, it gives you the fruits of the spirit. Do you know what those fruits are? They're love, joy, peace forbearance. That's a big word that means behaving in a calm and sensible way. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So it's really important to take care of that seed in your heart. It needs to be nourished by others who have the fruits of the spirit. They could be your parents your grandparents, your aunts or uncles, or the people in your church. They could be anyone who loves God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, and also love their neighbors. Who are your neighbors? Well, that's a story for another time. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for planting the seed in our hearts. Please surround us with people who will help to grow that seed in us. Help us to help others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you. Bye for now. See you next time.